All right. That's a That's a red. There we go. So I was just talking about the driver a little bit, right? We looked at your swings yesterday. I'll explain to you how you're going to put in put in these feelings without practicing a ton. Okay, so here's a guy, short little dwarf on golf, right? So I probably I can hit it, I don't know why, but like extra straight from this position, way straighter than on my on my feet. Okay. So a little farther away, bro. Sorry. Right there. Good. So I pulled that one a little bit. Or the face was aiming a little bit left. Let's hit one a little bit more on target line this time. So that's that's pretty straight, isn't it? Okay. So think about these elements, okay, hitting a driver. There's a circular relationship. How straight is my club head going when it's doing this around me? Anybody want to say, how straight is my club head going at any point here? Is it going straight at all? Not at all. Okay, so this is a circular relationship. And then within that circular relationship, if I did this, I could hit it very straight, but I wouldn't hit it very far. Agreed? So I have to take on a little risk. And that little bit of risk looks like this. Watch the club face. Where's the club face pointed now? Oh. Sure. In a, you know, half a second, is it going to be pointed up there again? No, it goes through this rate of rotation, back to square-ish, right? And does that face still keep going this way after impact? No. So there, it has this rotation. Now, am I really trying to manually do it? I don't think so. But I've hit a lot of balls. I just want to share this stuff with you, right? Now, how about, Jim, if you teed it up there for me? Okay, so where's this ball going to go, guys? Can I hit it on my target line, or am I going to hit it over into the right trees over there? You know, so why did it go to the right? Well, I, the, the, I hit the ball on the right, more rightward part of my circle, so the face was pointed more to the right. Okay, so now if one's over here, where's the ball going to go? Yeah, sure, it's going to go more to the left, I hope, right? Okay, so the, you know, you see how ball location plays a big part in, in how accurate we get? So ball location is important. You know, the driver, we want to play it. If we play it too far forward, what's the problem? We hit it too far on the left side of the circle. If we play it too far back, we hit it too, you know, too much to the right side of the circle. The only time, and everybody thinks that... Oh, one more final thought on, on speed development and so forth with the driver. You know, so the circular relationship, right? So this is really easy, and believe me, if i teaching a brand new golfer, this is a great place to teach them. You know why? Because they pretty much realize this doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense. They kind of get their arms stretched out, the ball's up here on a tee. Guess what they teach themselves to do? Have pretty good structure. I don't see too many of them doing all this stuff that they do when they stand up on two feet and try to make a golf swing, right? So this circular behavior, we take on a little risk, and that to have power, don't we have to kind of bend our trail arm a little bit? Not overbend it, not, you know, but we need some structure, you know, and some of y'all are working on that, but we need this radius, and then we can deliver this. And we have to, you know, you're gonna hit them somewhat crooked always. Just accept it, gonna go kind of crooked. Hopefully that crooked's in play. Nobody hits it BB straight, okay? M Mo Norman did, but that's about it, okay? This relationship of circular and to have some speed, What's that face doing? It's got some rotation, doesn't it? And then it kind of you kind of unload on the thing and it passes through this space and hopefully those relationships make sense and you hit a good one. Now a lot of the problem, you guys, is people think they have to take the thing straight back and straight through. Right? Got to help that face straight back and straight through because that would make sense, but it, it's, the, it's absolutely the wrong way to go. We have to swing the weight of the golf club in a circular and rotational fashion. You know, so if I stand up and hit one on my feet, you know, I'll have a bit more speed. I'll hit a little farther. I'll hit it more crooked because I've got more possibilities of error on my feet. You know, so we're going to teach you guys a routine. How much time, Pro? So the practice swings, guys, we're going to keep your golf balls back here because I want you teeing up and hitting every shot like it counts. You have an aim stick and you see where I'm aiming this aim stick, right? 
Here's my practice swing. We'll move the chairs a little bit more out of the way. Personally, I wore this. My practice swing is a reinforcement of what I'm working on. And don't think I'm not always working on something. For me, okay, it's my pelvis. Okay, I get a little too biasy this way and a little too this way. Because I teach people who do too much of this all day to stay more centered. Right? I teach every day all day, five days a week. So I get a little too biased in what most people need. Now for me, I need my pelvis to rotate more and I need my seat to kind of go back a little bit more create a little bit more room for my arms. So guess what my practice swing looks like? The club gets in my hands, you guys and gals. The club's not on the ground. It's five or six inches off the ground. And then I make a really concerted effort to feel that behavior. That's it. Was that a big mighty rip? Did I touch the ground? I didn't, but what I'm doing is compounding an awareness that I'm gonna to apply to a golf ball, good, bad, or indifferent. If I hit a good shot, yay. If I don't, I don't. But I'm trying to, I just took a little preview of that behavior. Now I'm trying to do it over a golf ball to feel the, the, the same things. Okay, and I hit a shot and kind of heel faded it out there. Now I can tell you what I didn't do. <sighs> okay, because that's, that's unacceptable. And that honestly, you're not going to learn anything from that. You know, you could see I took a starting form to a finishing form, and in a moment I could tell you exactly where I hit that thing, not really where I wanted to. It wasn't a bad swing, you guys. It wasn't a, hey coach, what do I need to do about that swing? I'm going to say hit another one. And you'll probably hit it more in the center and probably hit a better shot. Because you're not as broken as you think in most cases, okay? You need a little refinement and then you need the right attitude of how to actually be a good golfer. Not one that always searches for, oh, Okay, well, if I did that, I got to make, oh, I got to think of that tip and this tip and this tip. And then pretty soon you're, you're, you're wrapped up in a ball. You can't make a motion. So our practice swings, guys, we'll be back here. We'll take one. Okay, maybe two. And they're, they're easy peasy ones. Okay, so maybe for a, a Hong Mei, it's something where she's feeling. <sighs> Walk in. And don't do the whole helicopter thing, Hong Mei, but. You get my point? You're trying to train away an arm behavior where the arms get too pinned across your body. Okay, so if, imagine if you play golf, say you're going to play golf once a week, I don't know, twice a week, whatever you play golf. And you did that little routine where you stood back in here and you kind of casually, you know, one, nobody, people might say, what are you doing, Hong Mei? Who cares? Say, I'm getting better. How about you? I'm getting way better. I don't know about you. Right, and they'll be like, and they're going to come up, but they're going to take their practice swings right here. Okay, you watch every tour event now, you'll notice they're all back here. It's funny, we, we meet for breakfast at the tour striker in my school, right? Morning, TVs are on in the, in, the, in the grill. And so, two weeks ago, it's Rory, Tommy Fleetwood, and DJ. Okay, they're the, they're the kind of premier group on TV. They all schwack it off the first tee, or is their practice swings back here? Walk up, hit it, reflect, okay? Good, bad, and different. You think they all hit them good? They don't, they miss two. Okay, iron shots, ball's somewhere in play out there. Practice swings are here. And maybe the practice swing back here, you guys, whether it's not, it's not about trying to brush the grass. You know how you're gonna brush the grass? Take what you did up here and bend it over a little bit. Take your radius that you created beautifully through space up here and learn how to bend it over some. Don't set the club on the ground with maybe bad arm math, and you don't know what your, your arm math or body positions are from one time to the next, but you will if you're up here, and then we have some spatial awareness out there, and we feel the weight of the club whew, giving us a pull, taking us to a finish position, and if you miss, I don't care. Okay, and nor should you. Where are we at, Pro? You're at nine. At nine, so go ahead and cut it there. We'll get started. So 